it's been a few days now, like five days almost, since my last upload and uh, James Ski has brought little to no evidence of the proof he was supposed to provide. So far since then, he only tweeted this. This is his tweet from, from February 16th, which says, Two men did possess real firearms. I was sent this video that was privately taken right before the BTS concert. Bro, my fucking ears. Here we go, though. <laughs> now, apparently, to James Key, this is the firearm that Too Mad has. However, some people would say the opposite of what James Key says. Too Mad is a complicated figure, edgy, ironic, attention seeking. This is playing the fire. Allegations of violence would be given a pass earlier just based on his character. He is probably not innocent, but accusations are overblown. Example, airsoft gun picks used evidence in lawsuit. And well, Jinsky didn't like the guy's response to the situation and thought he was, uh, how should I put this? Ignoring it. Among the fake guns, he was in possession of multiple real firearms. He used them to do heinous shit against his victims. I don't understand the point of leaving that part out. Like, what do you gain from it? Like, I generally don't get the idea of bringing up only one part and ignoring the other entirely as if it doesn't exist. A firearms possession investigation was done by professionals and not Twitter detectives. There are court orders telling him explicitly to surrender firearms in multiple instances. I was told that he tried to dispose of his firearms instead of surrendering them. There are some things I can and can't talk about, but it's not like the guy was discreet about owning them and using them to terrorize people in person. Also, there was no lawsuit at any point. FFS, why is it being parroted so much? Okay, first off, it's not like the guy was ignoring it. He's just asking you to post more proof of an actual firearm that Tumad actually used, not a BB gun alleging to be one. Robert gave him a suggestion and says, you have made all these claims, James, but you haven't provided evidence whatsoever. I suggest you delete your tweets and wait until your investigation is finished and available to the public. But Right now, you're on unsafe territory and can't screw it all up. I mean, that's a reasonable suggestion there. He could have provided more evidence instead of posting the two pictures there, because those are not enough to prove that Too Mad did anything wrong. And it is at this point an allegation, and allegations are not always proven to be true. So. I can see why some people are still skeptical about this. Raisin Crow says that's literally on you for not providing more claim, more than claims. You're just making everything more confusing by rushing out your tweets. Like the guy says, we're sure he's probably not innocent, but if you really care about getting the truth out there, put more time into doing so. Yeah, people these days on the internet don't want statement claims. They want more than statement claims. They want proof. Like, more proof, not less proof. Magia Baser says, okay, now I know James Key is just trying to lie in order to hate on Too Mad. Second one was a fake airsoft gun. Are you okay? Oh, really? I may still have a real one. That one just isn't real. Well. Uh, 
Okay, now we're getting somewhere to where James G couldn't get to. This person says the fact there are still people trying to defend him despite there being several things of evidence and witnesses and other people coming out is wild. Except no one is defending too mad. Twitter users are simply calling out James Gay for not providing more proof rather than just the take my word for it because the California Supreme Court explicitly told him he can't possess firearms, not Twitter experts narrative. Then of course, no surprise, another person defended James Key over this by saying actually while how people are defending too mad. James Key, you don't deserve this hate. He's not getting hate. He's getting criticism for his lack of evidence against too mad. This person says no offense but the shit he's posting isn't sufficient enough for those rape and pedo allegations. All it's showing is that he was a reckless clinically insane drug induced individual. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of seeing as well. Dukin Pug claimed that the rape and pedo stuff was common knowledge way before this. Um, since when? Stop Live says, even if common knowledge, there's probably a lot of people who only know James Skeet but not too mad so he should at least provide that evidence as well so people don't have to look for it themselves. It's common sense. I agree with this guy because nobody's going to spend two hours or three hours or five hours by simply typing two mad public records and then looking for, for it by scrolling through each and every Google search page from one to 100. And nobody got the time for the app. So Jamie Pine says this, wait, so in these legal documents y'all included a screenshot of two mad trying to kill a spider with an airsoft gun? Cause I shot that video and none of his guns were real. What is this evidence of? Yo, this is spectating. <laughs> I'm in severe pain right now. It's on your leg! <laughs> Mason replied to Jamie Pine saying, Bruh, you can see the fucking BB. Jamie Pine responded, I know, he shot me with it once. It hurt a little. Mason said, Do you know if this one was a BB as well? And then Anavar450 says to Mason, Yes, he used it in his YouTube videos before. I remember he got into an airsoft fight with some teenagers showing up at to his house. Lol. Shot BBs at them with that gun. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So I found that one YouTube video when I searched Too Mad Airsoft. And this came up. It, it shows Too Mad and his friend doing some sort of like airsoft gun battle. Not sure why the video itself is titled as a restricted YouTube video based on community guidelines, but it looks like they were having fun playing with their airsoft gun. But yeah, I, I have not seen any other evidence that James Ski allegedly claimed to provide without any proof whatsoever. This person says, you do realize how complete and extensive a legal document has to be, right? And Jamie Pine replied, yep, but it's all we have been given. Labeled as an AR-15, no mention of airsoft. 
the hang gun screenshot is a still from a video he edited and added sounds and muffle. Then this person questioned if we're going to dismiss the proof of how deranged too mad was. Are we just going to dismiss any video slash photo evidence no matter how realistic because of that, despite now having proof of how deranged she was? If someone who can actually tell apart real guns from fake shows evidence of these being fake, then sure. But source trust me isn't enough. Trust me, no one's dismissing anything. It just has to be concrete proof. Like the one Jamie Pine has who says, Oh, I haven't plenty of evidence that they're fake. Videos, photos, purchase receipts. I bet the guys who work in Camouflage International on Graniteville Street would remember us too. Here's a video from the first day they went to that store. We ended up going back. We brought lots of them to make videos with. We bought guns, I'm not joking. You, you, bought, guns, guns. you bought guns? You want to blind it, bro? Let me just pull it out of the bag. Wait, you don't believe me, huh? This is Canada, motherfucker. This shit's legal in Canada. You take up Jack. This was done. First it's bullet, and then the fucking Glock, nigga. What the fuck? What the fuck? Later, Jamie Pine says in this tweet, when you lie about too mad, there is a high chance I know the truth. Among the proven wrongs he committed are also totally fabricated and exaggerated stories that I can only imagine are spread purely for clout. I have honestly had the most troubling 24 hours of my life seeing what the internet is doing, heartlessly in the faces of his family. I have his little brother on Discord. He can see it all. I can't tell you the pain he and his father are going through. Y'all have completely dehumanized Moody out no sooner than the moment of his passing. I really don't know what the hell James Ski was trying to prove with some part evidence that he himself brought up in at least one tweet. Because the video that he showed, or at least the screenshot that he showed, is too mad holding a BB gun, not a firearm. Like, why didn't James Gay provide it what an actual firearm looks like instead of this? Because secretly claiming that the BB gun that Tuma had is a firearm is a bit suspicious. I really hope James Gay can actually provide actual evidence on Twitter instead of going to push a false narrative to make everyone believe him. So at the end of the day, all I want is the truth and honesty for a change. So there better be a video at least from James Ski. Because right now, to me, the tables are not adding up. And uh, I also heard some rumor going around that James Ski is known for lying. So I'm going to be very careful trying to believe what he says. Thank <laughs> you.